welcome to my craft studio. Um, I wanted to start with the overview. Last night, some people wanted to see some close-ups of my millinery flowers, so we'll look at those and then we'll move on to our project tonight. I'm going to show you some close-ups of some things that I've made. I don't think you got to see a very good picture of this last night, so. And then, here's a piece on crinoline. A little pin. A bracelet. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and start with our project for this evening. Tonight I'm going to show you how I made the paper for this journal. Um, you can see, I don't know how well it shows up on camera, but there's a lot of subtle color variations and um, a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of gold, and a little bit of pearl. And so I'll show you how to do that. And with this paper you can do things like make tussy mussies or cover hat boxes or cover journals or whatever. And then later on I'll show you how I um, dyed the lace to go on the front of this. And I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers too. And be sure to ask any questions and visit me on my Etsy shop at Lambs and Ivy uh, Designs on Etsy or you can come to my website lambsandivydesigns.com. Okay, here are the products that we're going to use tonight. Um, these are two mica powders and I already have been messing with the pencil so I've got paint everywhere, <laughs> so excuse that. Um, this is from um, Brambleberry and it's just a, a gold mica powder and this is a pearlized, um, pearly white mica powder. I'm going to be using some fabric medium and this is very cheap, this just came from Michaels and it's just a textile medium, any type of acrylic textile medium. And this is by Jacquard and it's uh, Luminaire, Lumiere um, pearlized white paint. And then these are some English watercolor pencils. These are Derwent Ink Tints brand. And these are my favorites. They have a lot of color. Then this is a German brand, Stadler, Stadler. And I don't like these as well. And then I also have a couple of Prismacolor watercolors. You can get these at uh, Blick Art Supplies or any, any good um, art and craft supply store. But let me show you. This is just some heavy watercolor paper. So to do this project, all you do is just use the side of your, of your colored pencil. And you'll be amazed at how much color you get. These, these really are very intense pencils. And so just go ahead and lay your color in where you want it. And I usually keep a this is just a kitchen cutting board handy. And the reason I keep this handy is because on this project I mainly use these dry, but you can also use these pencils wet. So if you wanted to uh, have a green and maybe you wanted to make it a little more yellow, you could just mix your actual pencils there on your board and then put it down. So you can see how much color you get from these. But let me lay a little bit more color on here to show you. And then you can just use whatever colors you like. And and I always use a little yellow or a little chartreuse to kind of lighten up your color. Even if you don't think you like that color. Even in your flower work. Um, like for example this the chartreuse in there and the yellow, it really kind of brightens this. So I always try to use a little a little lighter color in any design. I think it gives it a little pop. But anyway, once you get your colors layered on there, then you just add your water. And you can see how intense these colors really are. And of course, the neat thing about this, you know, the, how the colors change and meld. And don't overwork your colors or you'll get them muddy. So it's better to, if you don't like a, a section, like I, I wouldn't particularly like 
that section right there. So let it dry a minute and then go back in and like I don't like this color it's a little too muddy so just after it's dried a little bit just add a little bit more color and color over it. And that's the neat thing about these pencils. Let me show you another technique you can do with these. When you get a lot of color in an area, for example right here, we'll do it right here. Um, when you get it nice and wet and you have plenty of color, then you can even do some neat effects. Drop just some water on your palette and you can see how it will actually spread I think you can see it better on this blue over here and it makes a halo you can get some really neat effects with these pencils can you see that oh, that's showing up right there okay so once you get your colors and of course if you were going to do this you would you know you might want to play around a while more but once you get your colors how you want them then that's of course the more water you add the more your colors will spread so the reason I use the um, textile medium is so it's just a colorless medium it's just a, a, like a, a paint with no um, with no pigment in it and so I use that so that my um, mica powder will actually stick so just pour a little of that on there and you can also use that kind of as a, a blending medium too and you can see how that will soften your colors a little bit more even Okay, and so once you get that down, then go ahead and use a little of your mica powder. And it doesn't take a lot of this mica powder. And it's fairly pricey too, but it comes in all different colors. It comes in violets and pinks and all different colors. So that's always a neat thing to have. And then work that in. You can see how that softens the whole look. And you know, you might not, you know, the gold darkens it too. So you may want to just stick with the, with the or you might not want to use any. You might want to just stop and, and go ahead and coat your, your paper with an acrylic finish. But if you want to, put, but I like sparkle. <laughs> so go ahead and add your pearl paint your pearl pigment and there you can see how you can work that you can get something very subtle or you know you can you can get some really neat effects here or if you want to let this dry and then go back in and add another layer of color with your pencils but anyway, that's neat. You can cover hat boxes out of it, like I say, make tussy mussies out of it, um, cards, whatever. So I wanted to show you how to do that and come back next time and we'll do another project. So thank you very much and I appreciate you and ask any questions that you have. Y'all come back now.